Good morning, this is Bruce again, and um, we're on the continuation of the previous movie, um, uh, How to Do a Counterbore and Make a Bush for a bearing that's been flogged out, uh, that the uh, housing had been flogged out. Um, we spoke about leaving, uh, leaving the material, uh, leaving, leaving the bush to find its own way after removing most of the material. And we also spoke about the different ways we can measure the ball. Uh, one of the ways that I didn't um, provide in that movie was actually using a ball gauge. And um, this is the ball gauge. Um, this this particular ball gauge is a uh, uh, can can measure with the different anvils. It me it, it's from 50 to 150 millimeters. Uh, and inside here, the different anvils, they say 50 right up to 105 millimetres. Um, and we also have inside all different rings that can be used for adding a half a mil or a millimetre uh, to, the, to the gauge. And what we have here, we're, that goes to 105, but you have this extender piece, which allows us then to measure uh, with, a, with a correct anvil fitted. Um, to measure this bore, and the so the the, uh, the measuring of the bore is quite easy. Right? You just set you just set that up uh, and you work it till you get the actual zero here, uh, maximum in the one direction. The other direction is always going to be bigger, so that's that's your minimum size. The beauty of this is it's quite easy for checking bore uh, parallelism further down. So if you go down the bottom here and we check it again um, and then we can see let me get, just get that right, then we're, we're spot on, we're, we're uh, within uh, the limits of this particular gauge and this gauge is uh, one, hundredth, uh, one hundredth of a millimetre um, so that's more than accurate enough for us to, to measure that. And we use the same principle for uh, checking, checking the, the um, the bush and here's the bush I've completed it and it's the same thing you can put that in with a smaller unit uh, you can, and we can measure measure this one here so what we finished now we finished machining we finished machining the bush uh, ID and OD and, and that's ready to be introduced now into there and what we've also done is we've machined up a, a press plate. So that press plate is just slightly loose. You need to give it a bit of looseness because when it gets, when the bush is pressed down all the way to the bottom, it's going to shrink. And if you made this uh, step here the exact diameter, then it would jam inside. So I've gone down uh, probably about uh, 0.3 of a millimetre less than the diameter of that. I'll be able to use this bush to press uh, I've used this, this uh, uh, pressing item to press the bush in to its full extent down to the, until it gets to the bottom there. And I will also be able to use it for, for pressing the bearing in. Because that will work also for pressing the bearing as well. So, uh, so there we have it. Um, another, another way of measuring the facets. And of course what you do, uh, if you want to know the diameter... Well then, we know which has moved around to zero. We'll then take a micrometer or vernier gauge, uh, vernier, um, and we'll measure that till it comes to the zero, and then we'll be able to see what that measurement is. Um, so that's another good, accurate way of measuring bores. So, well, this is Bruce signing off on this Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go and have a tub and get back into the paperwork so everybody have a great uh, new year's eve don't uh, don't get paralytic over it uh it's not worth it but have a couple of drinks so that's great see ya